What's going on you guys? So today we're going to learn how to use the Eventbrite API um, and see how we can, say you're an event organizer and you want to build a dashboard so you can see how profitable are my events. Well, with the Eventbrite API, we're able to, we can pull order information and see uh, how much money we're making on our events. So let's check this out. I'm gonna search Eventbrite API Okay, so I'm going to go with API Basics. Okay. So the first thing we're going to need to do is um, get an authentication token. So they don't, you don't want to be able to pull anyone's event order information, so they have to make sure that you're the right person. Okay, so the first thing we gotta do is we gotta get our API key. Okay, so, um, so I've already done this, but if you were doing this for the first time, it would look like, it would look like this. And so you could just click get free API key and then you would have to go through a process of either signing up for your account or logging in um, and then it'll show uh, your API key right in this area here. So we're going to copy that API key. Um, okay, so I'm going to make a let's make a folder. Let's call it a uh, Eventbrite. Eventbrite dashboard. Okay, so. So that's our, our API key. Um, let's call it API key. Okay, now we've got our API key, what's next? Um, so we need to authenticate our API key. How can we do that? So we need to authenticate API requests. Okay. So it's telling us that when we send our request, we'll just add this as a header in a, in a curl request or as a token in a get request. So token equals your API key that we got in the last step. Okay, so now if we wanna get order data, you can click on event data here on the left. We're gonna click orders. So we've, we've authenticated ourselves by grabbing that API key. So now we wanna list, say you've already, you've got a, um, you've got a, uh, an event that you've made and you want to grab all of the, uh, all the orders for that event. You need to get the uh, event ID. So how can you get the event ID? So let's see, event ID. Let's look for the first one. Okay. Okay, so here it's telling you, here's how we get the event ID. So we can do it through the website, or we can um, we can do a curl. Say you have multiple event events, you know, like you're not just doing one. If you do this get request, it will send you back a list of all of your events. So let's let's do both. First, let's try the uh, the curl request. Okay, so user bin env bash. Right, so we've got this curl request. Um, I'm gonna clean it up a little bit here. OK, 
Okay, I'm just going to add these line continuations at the end. Okay, and w for this we're going to use our API key. Okay. All right, let's try this. And so this should return a list of the events that we've done. So let's try that. Okay, we got an issue here. Line seven and line six. Okay. What's the problem here? Let's see. Change this to that. Let's see if that does doesn't fix it. Okay. URL using bad illegal format. Okay. Interesting. Um, let's try. Let's try and just adding our key in here rather than using this variable. So let's just do that. Okay, what's the error here? Okay, bad URL. Okay. Um, this might be an issue. This might be need to be the first one. Uh, and actually, I don't think that we need this get. Okay, let's try that. No OAuth. So it looks like there's an issue with our OAuth token. Um, okay, so let's try. Let's try the website, Eventbrite.com. Okay, you can click Manage Events. No, thank you. Okay, and so you can click on your events here. And now we see, it, if you look at the URL, this EID, that stands for Event ID. So we'll just grab our Event ID there. Okay, so we can now use so we've gotten the event ID um, this alternate way. So it is there. That's our event ID. Let's call this event ID equals. Okay. And now how are we going to call orders? Let's copy this command here. Let's paste it. Let's get rid of this. Uh, wait, hold on. Keep this. We can just. Uh, so we want this. Okay. No. Okay. And let's try calling event ID. See what happens there. Oops. Okay. OAuth token is required for all. Okay. So we're having an issue with the OAuth token. Let's uh, just make sure. So let's replace this with this. Okay. Oh, what is that? 
Oh, maybe that was the issue. Okay. Orders. Okay, so we're having this issue. Okay, so we're having an issue with our OAuth token. So let's go back. Let's redo this part. Getting started. Authenticate API requests. Okay. So we're doing that, that's interesting. Let's try adding it to the end of our um, the end of our URL. Okay. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so that worked a lot better. Okay, so as you can see here, we're able to grab, so in this case, there's one, there's one order in this case, and um, our base price is zero. So what we could do is we have, we could, for each order that we get, um, here, right? Uh, we can multiply it. We can use all this relevant information to figure out, like, what is our, what is our gross revenue? What is our net profit? You know, you can take out all these fees that are included. Um, anyway, so that's how we use the Eventbrite API. Um, you get to, you got to see that it's, uh, you got to debug some errors sometimes. Developing, you don't, you don't get it right on the first try. Um, yeah, so that's been fun. Anyways, see you later.